It's truly a pleasure and honor for me to be in this class and talk about climate change. My name is Vara Prasad. I'm a professor in the Department of Agronomy here at Kansas State University. I'm also the director of the Sustainable Intensification Innovation Lab, which works throughout the world. Climate change is very important under the current circumstances. As I mentioned, I'm in the College of Agriculture. We are in the business of food production. Climate change impacts the productivity of our grain crops. For example, wheat, sorghum, or rice, and also our vegetables and tree crops as well, like tomatoes, and also the fruits which we eat. Mainly, climate change impacts the productivity of these crops. When I say productivity, I'm talking about yield. Yield of these crops are going to be decreasing under climate change scenarios because one of the things which happens under climate change is increases in the temperature, air temperature, and also occurrence of extreme drought events. Both of these high temperature stress and drought events impact the productivity of our crops and uh, mostly negatively. So under climate change, what we have seen is that there is a uh, under climate change, under climate change, what we have seen is increases in carbon dioxide concentrations. If you look at what happened in the last century, at the beginning uh, in 1960s, our carbon dioxide concentrations were around 280 parts per million. But right now in 2022, the carbon dioxide concentrations have increased to close to 420 ppm. What's a significant increase? And these, these greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and hexafluorides, they are called greenhouse gases because they have the tendency to absorb or trap heat. That's why they're called as greenhouse gases. So because of this, what we have seen is that there has been a global surface temperature increase compared to the beginning of last century to what we are seeing now approximately there's been an increase in 1.2 degrees Celsius, and which is negatively impacting off our crop production. So that's what we are seeing it. And there's another component to climate change, which is drought stress or occurrence of extreme events, uh, which also impacts the productivity of the crops. So in, in Kansas, for example, we produce uh, wheat in the winter, and then we produce sorghum or soybean in the summer. Both of these crops are negatively impacted because of occurrence of high temperature and drought stress during the crop production period. 